Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I am Hashem Ali Khan. So this is the last video on computation of tax liability. Last four more problems I am going to continue in this problem that will be the end of this topic called computation of tax liability. So if you are continuously watching the last few videos then definitely you will be in a position to compute the tax liability of a person under different situations if he is having normal income, special income, casual income, surcharge, tax rebate all these things I have explained in the last few videos. So if you have not watched the earlier videos I suggest you to go to the playlist of my channel select the subject advanced uh, aspects of income tax then select the video of computation of tax liability watch the earlier videos definitely you will be more confident because the chapters are linked one with one another if you are unable to calculate the tax liability the next chapter will be assessment of individual there you will find it difficult so all these chapters are related with one another don't skip in between and don't leave any video watch continuously definitely you will get a lot of confidence on the subject of advanced aspect of income tax so before starting the explanation I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description so take a printout keep it ready first take a screenshot of the solutions of problem 21 22 23 24 then I'll explain each and every point in detail Come on, see the 21st problem. <clears throat> For the previous year 2021, Mr. Vasudas, Vasudas Naik's income in India is 5 lakh 20,000 and in foreign country it is 12 lakh. Calculate tax liability in the following situations. First situation, if his residential status is a resident, and second situation, if the residential status is non resident. So for the current assessment year 21-22, we have to find out what is the tax liability in each of the situation. First situation, if he is a resident. First of all, Indian income is 5 lakh 20,000 and foreign income is 12 lakh. One point you remember, the tax liability depends on the residential status. So before calculating the tax liability, we have to see what is the residential status. If the SSC is an ordinarily resident in India, then all incomes are taxable whether it is Indian income or foreign income. If the residential status is ordinarily resident, if the residential status is non-resident, then only Indian income is taxable, foreign income is not taxable. This is the provision according to Income Tax Act 1961. So first case, if the SSC is a resident, in this case the SSC has to pay the tax on both the incomes. If he is ordinarily resident in India, he has to pay the tax on both the incomes, Indian income as well as foreign income. So add up both, 5 lakh 20 plus 12 lakh, 17 lakh 20 thousand is the total income. On this 17 lakh 20 thousand he has to pay the tax. Now we apply the slab. First slab up to 2 lakh 50 thousand. 2,50,000 nil, no tax, basic exemption limit. The second slab, 2,50,000, 1 to 5 lakh. This uh, slab is 2,50,000. Lakh this 2,50,000, 5%, 12,500. The third slab, 5 lakh, 1 to 10 lakh. The income is 5 lakh, on which 20%, 1 lakh. Now balance, over 10 lakh rupees, whatever be the limit, over 10 lakh rupees, the tax rate is 30%. So total income 17 lakh 20 thousand 17 lakh 20 thousand minus 10 lakhs first three slabs you deduct first three slabs you deduct the balancing figure is 7 lakh 20 thousand 7 lakh 20 thousand into 30 percent 2 lakh 16 thousand so tax is 3 lakh 28 thousand five to this we have to add a surcharge but surcharge is not applicable surcharge will be applied only if the income is over 50 lakh up 
to 50 lakh, no surcharge. Here it is less than 50 lakh, no surcharge. Simply you have to add health and education as 4%. Add up. 3 lakh 41,640 is the tax liability if the SSC is a resident. Now, if the SSC is a non resident, in that case, only, only Indian income is taxable, foreign income is not taxable if he is a non resident. So, Indian income, 5 lakh 20,000. So, we calculate tax on 5 lakh 20,000 up to 2 lakh 50, nil. 2 lakh 50,000, 1 to 5 lakh. That means 2 lakh 50,000, 5 percent, 12,500. The balance 20,000. The total income is 5 lakh 20,000. So 5 lakh 20 minus 5 lakh 20,000 balance 20% 4,000 16,500 is the tax on total income to this we add 4% health and education says 17,160 is the tax liability if the SSC is a non-resident that's it so this is the end of 21st problem now see the 22nd problem number 22 income from short term capital gain on transfer of Listed equity share 3,50,000 and income under other heads 1,10,000. Calculate tax liability in the following situations 1, 2, 3. First situation SSC is the resident male person. Second SSC is resident super senior citizen. And third SSC is a non resident woman. Three different situations we have to calculate the tax liability. First of all, Short term capital gain arising on transfer of equity share is taxable at a flat rate of 15% already in the previous problem I told you it's a special income gain arising short term gain arising on transfer of equity share is taxed at a flat rate of 15% right now other heads are 1,10,000 these are the other heads of income normal income the so normal income 1,10,000 and special income 3,50,000 first case STCG on transfer of listed equity share 3,50,000 it is taxable at a flat rate of 15 first SSC is a resident male person male or female doesn't matter no distinction the provisions are same so SSC is a resident male person basic exemption limit is 2,50,000 and the other income, other income, uh, other income is one lakh ten thousand. Normal income is one lakh ten thousand. So two lakh fifty thousand is the basic exemption limit, and normal income is one lakh ten thousand. So deficiency arises one lakh forty thousand. So according to the provisions of IT Act, the deficiency arising can be set off from short term capital gain or long term capital gain. This deficiency can be deducted from special income. So here 1,40,000 is the deficiency. This 1,40,000 can be deducted from STCG of shares. How much is the STCG? 3,50,000. Now we calculate taxable STCG. 3,50,000 minus deficiency 1,40,000. So 2,10,000 is the taxable STCG on which flat rate. 15 percent so 15 percent of 2 lakh 10,000 31,500 31,500 is a tax liability but the SSC can avail tax rebate under section 87a because the SSC's total income is below 5 lakh the SSC's total income is below 5 lakh when the total income is below 5 lakh she is eligible to get tax rebate under section 87 to the least of the following two actual income tax or 12,500 whichever is least actual income tax is 31,500 whereas maximum limit is 12,500 so deduct 12,500 19,000 to 19,000 you add health and education says 4% tax liability 19,760 that's it first case completed now second case SSC is a resident super senior citizen for super senior senior citizen, the basic exemption limit is 5 lakh. Super senior citizen, basic exemption limit 5 lakh. So basic exemption limit 5 lakh. Income under other heads 1 lakh 10,000. So deficiency comes to 3 lakh 90,000. Whereas STCG is having only 3 lakh 50,000. That means the complete deficiency cannot be absorbed. 
still deficiency is there. Even after setting off this 350,000, still we are having 40,000 deficiency. That means there is no income. When there is no income, there is no tax. So tax liability will be nil. Because deficiency itself cannot be fully set off. She is having only 3,50,000 STC. Deficiency is 3,90,000. No tax liability. Nil. Now case 3. SSC is non-resident women. Now for non-resident persons, first of all, deficiency cannot be set off. The benefit of adjustment of deficiency can be given only for resident SSCs. For non-resident SSCs, adjustment provision is not applicable. So deficiency is not applicable. In that case, the complete STCG is fully taxable at the rate of 15%. So STCG 15% of 350,000, 5200. Health and education says 4%. 54,600 is the tax liability in the third case. That's it. Now we'll come to the next problem, 23rd. Sri Rangan inherited a landed property from his grandfather in 1998 during the previous year relevant to the current assessment year he started constructing the house in his land during the process of construction while digging the earth he found a box containing gold and silver ornaments worth rupees 18 crore determine the tax liability for the current assessment year assuming that he is not having any other source of income so a new provision is there. Complete story is given. The SSC got under the earth while constructing uh, under the earth, underneath the earth, he got some treasure in the form of gold and silver. The value of that gold and silver treasure is 18 crore. Now, what is the provision regarding income tax on this worth, on this wealth which he obtained in the form of a treasure? So, according to the Supreme Court judgment, if an SSC got some treasure underneath the earth, then the ownership will be in the hands. That means the SSC will be the owner of that property. Neither the government nor the lessee. Nor the lessee. Only the owner will have the property on that. And he has to pay the tax. And the tax will be, it is like a casual income. It is not taxable as income from other sources. It is obtained by an element of chance. When an, uh, when an income is received in an element of chance, it is called casual income. So Income Tax Act says, whatever treasure he got underneath the earth, it is in the form of a casual income. And the flat rate of 30% will be applied. Now, value of ornament is 18 crore. So tax on casual income. So 30% of 18 crore, it comes to 5 crore 40 lakh to this surcharge. Surcharge will be, will be taken at 37%. Why? Because the total income is more than 5 crore. Already in the last so many problems I have explained about the provisions of surcharge. If the total income is more than 5 crore, surcharge 37%. So 37% of 5 crore 40 lakh, 1 crore 99 lakh 80,000. To this add 4% health and education says 29 lakh 59,200. So ultimately the tax liability will be 7 crore 69 lakh 39,200. This is the tax liability. That's it. This is the end of problem number 23rd. Last and final problem 24th. Sri Srinivas, resident of Varanasi city of UP, reported the following incomes for previous year 2021. Calculate tax liability. Income from business 3,21,000. Winning from horse races 6,000. Winning from horse races is a casual income on which there is a flat rate of tax 30% separately we have to take. Short term capital gain taxable at a flat rate of 15%, 90,000. Specifically given, STCG is taxable at a flat rate of 15%, special income. So we have casual income as well as special income. And income under other head 62,000. 
तो वी कैन क्लब इनकम फ्रॉम बिजनेस एंड इनकम फ्रॉम अदर हेड्स दीज टू इनकम्स आर नॉर्मल इनकम्स ऑन विच स्लैब सिस्टम विल बी अप्लाइड तो फर्स्ट वी कैलकुलेट वॉट इज द टैक्स ऑन नॉर्मल इनकम then we add the tax on stcg then we add the tax on uh, uh, casual income we'll get the total tax we'll get the total tax liability but uh, remember tax rebate is also allowed it is not a tax rebate is not allowed from casual income but tax rebate is allowed from normal income and also from special income the ssc is having the total income less than 5 lakh so the ssc can get the tax rebate under section 87a first of all income from business 3 lakh 21000 second income from other head 62000 the so normal income 3 lakh 83000 this is the normal income calculate the tax on normal income first slab up to 2 lakh 50000 nil now second slab from 2 lakh 50000 1 to 5 lakh but our income is not going up to 5 lakh so we'll take the balancing figure 3 lakh 83 minus 250 1 lakh 33 is the balance so 1 lakh 33 into 5% so how much we got 1 lakh 33000 into 5% 6650 so we got 6650 tax this is the tax on normal income to this we add tax on stcg short term capital gain 15% of 90000 13500 the total tax comes to 20150 but <clears throat> ssc can get tax rebate under section 87a because the total income is below 5 lakh so tax rebate will be least of the following to actual income tax or 12500 the so actual income tax is 20150 and limit is 12500 So twelve thousand five hundred will be deducted. Seven thousand six fifty. To this we add tax on casual income, winning from horse races. So tax of uh, casual income six thousand. So thirty percent of six thousand eighteen hundred. Add up eighteen hundred nine thousand four fifty. Nine thousand four fifty. Now you add health and education says four percent three seventy eight. Nine two nine uh, nine thousand eight twenty eight. 9828 is the tax liability but according to the provisions we have to round it off to the nearest 10 the last two digits you are having 28 so make it 30 instead of 28 round it off to the nearest 10 so it becomes 30 so ultimately 9830 is the tax liability that's it Totally twenty-four problems I have explained. Each and every problem in detail, in depth, I have explained. So you you will get the complete confidence on the subject how to compute the tax liability. This is the end of unit number two. In this unit, I have explained three topics. The three topics are agricultural income, tax liability, and one more topic. These three topics we have completed. Income from other sources. income from other sources agricultural income and computation of tax liability these three topics are completed in unit number 2 inshallah next video i'll start the next unit unit number 3 where again three topics i'll take up those three topics are set off and carry forward first of all aggregation or clubbing of income i'll explain and we also do the problem aggregation or clubbing of income set off and carry forward of losses and deductions from gti gross total income these three topics i am going to start in the next video so keep watching enhance your knowledge get more and more confidence on the subject and one more information i want to give that i have started a new channel second channel for igcsc students particularly and generally for everyone so the name of this new channel is hans accounting institute please visit the channel watch the videos and do subscribe to that channel also inshallah we'll continue the next uh, unit in the next video